Now, on behalf of the class of 2014, I would like to thank our Educator of the Year, Dr. Bayram. Originally from Baghdad, Dr. Bayram has been a faculty member at the dental school since 2007. Her background is remarkable, including a removable prosthodontics residency and a master's in oral sciences here at UB, followed by a maxillofacial prosthodontics residency at Roswell Park Cancer Institute. Our class chose Dr. Bayram because of her complete devotion to teaching. One of the most dis difficult things to grasp in preclinical courses is removable partial framework design. This is a component of dentistry that often feels impossible to students. Having never seen a live patient with missing teeth before, let alone an actual partial denture, many of us were flabbergasted by words like guide plane and releasing clasp. Dr. Bayram's course took place during the spring semester, but she took the time to teach us the vocabulary the previous November. She would personally remediate those of us who stared at our models in awe every Wednesday morning in order to ensure our success. On the clinic floor, Dr. Bayram's patience knows no end. Our clinical sections are scheduled until 4 p.m., yet Dr. Bayram makes it a point to stay at school each evening in case a student needs help with lab work. Her devotion and support are backed by discipline. Let's say you stayed up all night setting the most beautiful denture you could fathom, and when you proudly show Dr. Bayram, she pops off each tooth and tells you the guide you used was incorrect. <laughs> However, because of her sense of commitment, she would then skip dinner to help you make an even more stunning denture. Dr. Abraham's persistence, dedication, and smile made her specialty understandable for many of us, which is no small task. Thank you for being a fantastic role model. We're so proud to honor you as our Educator of the Year. Please welcome Dr. Latifa Bayram. Okay. To start with, to make this speech easier for me, I thought I'll go with your advice and pretend that I'm giving you a lecture at B28 <laughs> about partial denture design, and you pretend that you are taking notes. <laughs> okay. Honored guests, Provost Zukowski, Dean Click, fellow faculty, family, and friends of the graduating class of 2014. I don't have words enough to express my gratitude for the chance to speak with you on this special on momentous day. I would like to start by congratulating each of you, your parents and your family, on your graduation from the School of Dental Medicine, University at Buffalo. I want you to celebrate this day and experience all of the pride and joy that comes with achieving this milestone. The success you have achieved today is a culmination of a tremendous hard work, commitment to wellness, and perseverance. This journey has strained your endurance, finances, and families. I, as well as all the other faculties on this stage, have endured similar journeys, and we understand what is required to complete this process. I, in particular, am honored to have taken part in your experience and education at University at Buffalo. To be singled out as Educator of the Year is a remarkable honor and a very humbling experience. As I look back on the academic and clinical experience we shared in the past years, I would like to share with you how I returned and continued my career at this institution. I received my advanced education, as Ashley said, in prosthodontics at this school and a fellowship in maxillofacial and prosthodontics at Roswell Park Cancer Institute. This was accomplished based on a scholarship that I earned from the College of Dentistry, Baghdad University, after my graduation from the dental school. In Baghdad, I participated in teaching, practicing, and contributed to the treatment of those patients with medically compromised defects resulted from the long-lasting wards. I came back in 2007, after more than two decades, to be close to my children who were born and chose to live in this country. I was very fortunate to be employed by the School of Dental Medicine to continue the joy and the passion for teaching. I remain very grateful to this institution, faculty, friends, and staff who welcomed me and made me and my family feel at home. I chose Buffalo as my destination. By the way, not because I miss the chicken wings and the pizza, which I tried to do it over there, it wasn't the same, you know. Maybe they should open there. 
but because I truly love this wonderful city and the friendly community. I was also very impressed with the distinctive educational environment, energy, and enthusiasm. I plan to maximize my teaching capability and enrich my experience through sharing knowledge in meetings and conferences and embracing research, taking into consideration the excellent opportunities provided in this school and the university. I participated in non-matriculated courses in PROS program. I acknowledge and appreciate the assistance of the prosodontic faculty. Therefore, learning is a lifelong continuous process, which is not limited neither by age nor by location. From this story, you can realize that our career may take us down many strange paths, and that's what makes life interesting. Our success will therefore be based on how we cope with the different eventualities. In a fast-moving world, we have to be able to adapt to change. You must be willing to move on to new projects, learn new technologies, and generally move with the times. Something you shouldn't change, though, and that is being honest and straightforward in your work and dealings. This is a reputation and a commitment you should hold close to your heart from the beginning of your career to the rest of your life. It is now helpful to stop and remember that we never accomplished any important things in our lives alone. We've all had help. Take a moment to remember and feel gratitude for those who helped you. Parents, guardians, mentors, spouses, neighbors, and sisters, and thank them. I will always remember you as one of the best classes I have mentored. I will remember your sincerity, capability, and dedication. I will also remember the jokes and laughs that we share together, not only with ourselves, but with our patients. Keep in touch with us and with the friends you have made here. Enjoy yourself as you celebrate your graduation, and remember, tomorrow you take on the world. I have no doubt but that you will make it a better place. Love you all so much, and wish you all the best in the years ahead. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Byram. Please welcome the University of Buffalo Dental Alumni Association President, Almost. Dr. Evelyn Clemente, graduating cum laude. Dr. Peter A. Davidow, graduating cum laude and with thesis honors. Dr. Mario Denicola, graduating cum laude. Dr. Deep M. Desai, graduating magna cum laude. Dr. Meghna Desai, graduating magna cum laude. Dr. Michael J. DeCivo, graduating cum laude. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Paul Dot, graduating cum laude. Dr. Eric Scott Dickerson, being hooded by his father, Dr. Scott Dickerson. 